I think we all remember this classic film, how it made us feel when we saw it. Am I right, people? Yeah. Porkies? No, I'm kidding, of course, not Porkies. Uh, this film that uh, my next guest was in, the biggest box office hit ever, one of the biggest, E.T. He's all grown up now and starring in what's sure to be another huge hit, Legends of the Fall. Please welcome Henry Thomas. <laughs> My God, it doesn't seem right that you're taller than me, but fine. <laughs> that was, uh, I know you're probably sick of talking about the E.T. movie, but, well, let's just have just a quick word. Okay. <laughs> it was, it was this big, huge, it must have changed your life so dramatically at that age. It did. It was, it was really weird because, uh, you know, I was accustomed That's to... That's you. Look, you're in the thing. Look. I, 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 <laughs> I worked with, uh, with, with Jimmy Woods, and, and he calls him uh, Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead. Yeah, he goes, oh, why don't you go get on the bike with the old Pumpkinhead? Pumpkinhead uh, was E.T.? Yeah, Pumpkinhead was E.T. No one had any respect for him on the set, did they, E.T.? <laughs> no, you know, um, the only person that had a lot of respect for him was, uh, was Drew. Right. <laughs> Drew wrapped a scarf around his neck when, you know, the, the soundstage was cold. Yeah. She's very sweet. <laughs> have, you seen Play have you seen Playboy this month? I know. Have you seen, uh... I know. I'm just curious because, I mean, I, you know, we grew up with, with you and, and, and Drew and then, and, and she's naked and I'm just wondering, you know, did when I, you're going to be naked or, uh, uh, No, I, 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 I'm not naked, uh, any, you know, when I'm alone. Well, no, I understand. No. Some, you know. We don't have to get into that. Okay. Let's go back to Pumpkinhead, shall we? <laughs> What is this new movie? This, this, you, you've come a long way from, uh, uh, from E.T., this new movie, Legends of the Fall. It's supposed to be a, a hot, happening movie. It's a great movie. Uh, really who's, who's in this with you? Uh, Brad Pitt, Anthony yeah. Hopkins, Amy yeah. Quinn, yeah. And, uh, and Julie Ormond. Oh, wow, so that's going to be true. And, and what is the general premise of the, the thing going here? Uh, it's kind of about a, uh, a family in Montana around like, just after the turn of the century, First World War era. Yeah. And it kind of follows their lives and their kind of... Uh, I guess, just the unraveling of the family. And, and when do they phone home and the spaceship comes? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. That oh, doesn't we, we happen have, in that one. We have a clip of this one, actually. This is uh, from Legends of the Fall with uh, Henry Thomas. Take a look at this very quick. Well, she's sort of passionate. She Virg? Good Lord, Tristan. You brought it up. Well, of course she is. Are you? Well. Wow. Um, yes, I am. Uh... Yes. A virgin. Now, uh... You're playing a virgin in this movie. It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> a, a difficult role, I imagine, to get into. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of perseverance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nostalgia, if you will. Nostalgia. <laughs> um, but Brad Pitt uh, is in there. Did you guys hang out? Did, was it like a wild time? You and Brad and Aiden would go out and drink and... Uh, we did a little bit at, uh, at the beginning of the, of the thing, but after a while it was, it was, uh, it was too busy. But yeah, it, it, there was one thing, you know, I went out with, uh, with Brad and Aiden. We were filming in Calgary, yeah. so it was kind of a Western town, you know. It's like uh, there's a big cowboy thing going on there. Yeah, Canadians. Canadians. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Immigration, and please, to the center <laughs> aisle. No, but, uh, you know, we, we went out, and of course, you know, all the girls are going, like, right to Brad and Aiden, and I'm kind of, like, stuck off in the corner, you know? Uh, no, please, please. I understand the attraction. I, I, I get it. Uh, you know, I, I realized that, you know, I was the lesser man of the three. What? Let me tell you something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me just say this. I've kissed all three of you, and I want to say this. <laughs> you, sir, are more gentle and... <laughs> no! No, but uh, it, it's funny, you know, because we, we were up there, and and, uh, and so we started getting into it, you know? We were, like, getting the hats and the boots right. and the, the Western clothes, and uh, Brad was line dancing. and uh, Line dancing? Yeah, redneck disco. Redneck disco? Uh, redneck disco. With the line, is that the thing where you get 40 people and everyone yeah, goes, everyone. Uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. achy, breaky, hard right. kind of thing, yeah. Isn't it amazing? Automatically, the elbows come out. Isn't that it's, nice? It's like, it's, uh, <laughs> no, but... Uh, and Brad, Brad was telling me, you know, it was great while we were up there, but he was on the plane back to L.A. 
and he was wearing all the stuff, you know, and, and people started looking at him, and he started realizing, I'll never wear this stuff again. I bought it just for Calgary. Yeah, you can't wear it on the plane unless no. you're the Marlboro Man or something. Right. Or, yeah, <laughs> doing that sort of thing. What about for New Year's? Are you going to go out and do a little line dancing in New York while you're here? You gonna... uh, yeah, I, I, I've always stayed away from line dancing. Yeah. Myself. Uh, no, I understand. Just, yeah. Are you going to be in town for New Year's Eve? Because uh, apparently this guy Dick Clark has a little party going down there. That's what I heard. Yeah. I, I heard about that. Uh, no, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow night, uh, so I'm... It's best to get out of town. I'm going to go home for New Year's. Phone home. That's oh. nice. Oh, God. You I know, you I know. I, yeah, yeah, I say yeah for that it's thing. Well, that's good. I hope you enjoy yourself and, and have a lovely New Year's Eve, and uh, it was very nice to see you. Hey, and meet you. Good luck with this film, because it seems like it's going to be very good. Uh, Henry Thomas, Legends of the Fall. We'll be right back with Pop Weed itself. So, there.